Okay, this and that, that they are diseases that are controlled by genes and they go from parent to offspring. Please hear this. There is wrong thing people used to think that if you have, if you acquire a trait, you can give it to your children. Let me tell you what, what, what I mean by acquire. Acquire means that you are not born with it. Then, for example, now let's say I, I wake up one morning, I started dreaming, started dreaming and all of that. Can if I have if I give out to a baby, is it possible for my baby to come up with muscles? Is it possible, guys? No. No. Why is it no? Because that's not inherited. That's something like you get like how to, I know there's a word for it, but okay. I know because it's not in their genes. They just it just happened. It was a it was environmentally. Like, what do you call it? Mm, environmentally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you think? I think the same. Because um, you get, like, you didn't get from an inherited disorder. You get it environmentally. So it's something that, that hard, like, they, it didn't come from a disorder. Neither did it come genetically. You just got it from, I don't know how to explain it. But basically, yeah. no. No. Good. You guys make sense all the way. It simply means anything that is not controlled by gene to a large extent will not be seen in the children. Let's get started reading. Now, um, can you do the reading on this, please? Like all of it. There are certain disorders that can be transferred from one person to the next. The these are disorders that are caused by inheritance of the certain allele. For example, cystic fibrosis and polydactyly are two genetic disorders that can be inherited. This is what we're saying. In our context today, this is polydactyl, this is cystic fibrosis. Apparently, you can see it here that this person has an extra digit or extra finger, so to say. Now, can I tell you guys this? I had this experience personally myself. Some babies get a cut off for like when they are. Yes. Like yes, when they are like babies, literally. Yes. yes. In fact, what people do is that they will put some some sort of um. Uh, what do I call that? Ligature or something. I like mean, you, you put some. Um, uh, God, like you tie something around this place to cut off the blood supply. So when this guy does not receive blood supply, it dies or something like that. There's a procedure, I'm not quite sure why it's done exactly, but it can be cut off early enough as a baby, so to say. So basically the first disease, the two diseases we are looking at is polydactyl and the cystic fibrosis. Can you quickly write this down quickly? Then we will we'll move on to each of them and see how they are transmitted. One is trans transmitted recessively, one is transmitted dominantly. We'll get to see that. Now, this is what I was saying here. Apparently, you see that the blood is going through your heart twice, so to say. Like this is one, then two. So when it comes from the lungs, this is one. When it comes back to the heart, that is two. That's what we mean by double circulation, which I think you've seen that already. Okay, that's right. This part is the right side dealing with the oxygenated blood of the heart and this is the left side now please be careful that doesn't mean that the blood that goes to your, your right side is, is the oxygenated no 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 this 
one is talking about only the, your heart. It's talking about your heart, not the entire part of your body, so to say. All right. So please take note of that. All right. Having established that, let's still move on. Now, now the first question goes this way. Um, let me ask. Let me start from the rear. Can you turn on your camera? Thank you. How does blood get oxygenated in the lungs? Can you try and explain in any way you understand, please, from the explanation so far? Um, the alveolar way. Easy, easy. It's fine. Take your time. Okay, you, you're thinking. All right, what are you thinking? Okay, let me ask. Can you try? The oxygen reaches the blood. From where? From the outside means. The oxygen means from the alveolar into the blood. The carbon dioxide means from the blood into the alveolar. Making sense. Making sense. So, basically, it's very simple. I know you are trying to think of how do I arrange the information. No, there's a point. The blood, oxygen just moves from the alveoli into, look at this. Can you see? Oxygen is moved from the alveoli into the blood, while carbon dioxide is moved from the blood into the alveoli. That's gas exchange. Is that simple? You guys can write it now. It says which chamber? Okay, start the start with blood entering the the right side of the heart and um, veins carry okay and blah blah blah. Those are the first parts. It says which chamber of the which chamber receives blood from the body vein body veins. Of course, that would be the right atrium. I'll just put right atrium. Now, please, most of you got this part. All right. Yeah, please, I need your attention. Now, the point is, now, the blood passes from this chamber into the right ventricle. Most of you got this part, but some of you made some funny mistakes. Ventricles. Now, the next thing is, while this is happening, this is where the mistake started from. For the two people that submitted, which was... Now, it says, while this is happening, the valve between the right and... Right, right atrium and right ventricle is what? It's going to be opened. It's meant to be opened. Why? Now the question is, how will the blood move from the right atrium into right ventricle if the valve is closed? I hope those that made the mistake is taking note of that correction. Three, it says...